In this video, I am going to tell you how to start SIP in MF Central. If you already have MF Central account, then log into your MF Central dashboard. The home page will look like this. To start SIP, click on Transact option on left hand side. Now you can see an option called Lump Sum or SIP. But before that, you have to make e mandate registration. e mandate means a standing instruction given to your bank account to deduct a certain amount each month from your account. If you want to know more details about e mandate, here you can see an e mandate is electronic permission you give to your bank. It allows mutual fund to take a fixed amount from your bank account automatically every month. It is used for your regular investments like SIPs. You don't need to make any manual payments every month. It works like a standing instruction to your bank. It makes investing easy and automatic. So, in order to do SIP, we need to register an e mandate. For that, click on e mandate before starting SIP. I'm clicking on e mandate. Now you can see an option called new OTM registration. OTM means one time mandate. Now click on OTM. Now you can see two options CAMS and KFIN. I am selecting CAMS. You can choose any of these two. Here you can see your bank account details. If your bank account details are not showing here, then click on service requests and you can register a new bank account here. Here you need to enter your name and confirm the bank account number and enter the amount for e mandate. See here. I entered my account holder name and bank account number. Now we need to enter the amount. For example, if you enter 10,000 rupees here every month, you can set a limit of SIP up to 10,000 rupees. If you enter 1 lakh rupees, you can set an SIP up to 1 lakh. Here I have set an e mandate limit of 10,000 rupees here. After entering the amount, you have to set the expiry date. If you select until cancelled, your e mandate will be active until 40 years or if you want to set for a certain limit then you can select the end date here i am selecting until cancel here next accept these terms and conditions now click on submit once you click on submit you will be redirected to your bank's internet banking page here i am using sba so i got this sba internet banking login page after login you have to approve the e mandate request in internet banking page enter your user id and password of your internet banking website and click on login once you login you can see the e mandate details like category mutual fund payment and the maximum amount that can be directed every month and the final expiry date it is 2065 because we have selected the maximum time period after verifying all the details accept these terms and conditions and click on accept now you enter the OTP received to your mobile number. After entering the OTP, click on confirm. See now you can see mandate authorization successful. Now you will be redirected to the MF central page. Here you can see mandate accepted. Here you can see success. Now click on go to e mandate. Here you can see our e mandate already registered in our MF central dashboard. If you want to cancel the e mandate, click on view option here and you can find an option to cancel your e mandate. Now we can start the SIP. For that, click on transact option on the left hand side. Now again click on lump sum or SIP. I am selecting equity mutual fund to start the SIP. Now you can see different mutual funds here. And you can filter either direct or regular mutual funds. I prefer direct mutual funds here. If you know the mutual fund already, you can type it here. For example, here I want to do SIP in Paragparik liquid fund. After typing Paragparik liquid fund, I can see some options. It is Paragparik liquid fund regular growth. I do not want to invest in a regular Paragparik liquid fund direct growth. I want to start SIP in this mutual fund. I prefer to invest in direct and growth mutual funds. So I am selecting Paragparik liquid fund direct and growth option. I am clicking on it. When you click on that, you will see the mutual fund scheme details here. After checking all these details, click on start SAP. If you want to invest lump sum, select start lump sum option here. Here we want to do SAP. So I am selecting start SAP option here. I already have a folio number in Parag Parik mutual fund. If you don't have any folio number, I want to create a new folio number. Click on create new folio. But I already have a folio number. I am selecting select existing folio number. See there is no much difference here. All the details are same. So I am selecting existing folio number here. Here you need to enter the SIP amount. 
here I want to do an SAP of 5000 rupees every month. Remember, in our previous step, we have set a mandate limit of 10,000 rupees. So I can set a limit up to 10,000 rupees here. But right now, I am using only 5000 limit. If I want to create a new SAP account, then I can choose another mutual fund and then I can add another 5000 rupees as an SAP because we have a limit of 10,000 rupees. So the more amount you put in the e mandate limit, it is better. Here you can select an option called frequency. I am selecting month and the SAP date is here you can select any date I am selecting 28 and you can select the start date and the end date I am selecting perpetual and the maximum time is 40 years if you want to do SAP for a specific time period then untick this box and select this calendar icon and select the year here suppose I want to invest only for one year time then I am selecting 2026 here and then you can also select the month and click on OK so up to July 2026 this SAP will be active and you can see the number of installments is 13. After that accept these terms and conditions for that click on this box now click on invest. Now you will receive a OTP enter that OTP here. After entering the OTP click on verify OTP. Now we have to authorize the e-mandate for that select one time mandate and select the e-mandate registration number. This is the e-mandate we have already registered in the MF central. So select this box here you can see the maximum amount is 10,000 rupees but right now we are using 5,000 limit now click on pay via OTM here you can see success your transaction has been accepted and you will also receive a confirmation message in your mobile now click on track my request here you can see the SAP is in progress when you click on view you will see more details about your SAP here you can see the uh, SAP registration date and the amount and the start date and the end date and the number of installments on this date the amount 5000 rupees will be debited from my account I don't need to do anything else so this is how to start an SAP in MF Central still if you have any questions ask them in the below comment section for more videos like this subscribe to Rajtak India thank you